It's a bonus edition of the Book Club for Kids. Hi, I'm Kitty Feldy. We know how difficult it has been for teachers around the country conducting class virtually. And we know how exhausted kids are staring at Zoom screens for hours and hours and hours. So we are inviting teachers and students to turn off the screens and use their ears. We're soliciting teachers and students who would like to be podcast stars. All you need is a favorite book and a phone. That's what these readers from Ali Sal Elementary School in the Northern California town of Pleasanton did. We will tell you how you can be on the show in just a couple of minutes. But first, let's hear some fun book suggestions from these young readers. Hi, my name is Maya, and I am from Pleasanton. My favorite book is Emily Winsnap and the Tides of Time by Liz Kessler. I like this book because a girl named Emily Winsnap is a half human and half mermaid. I would recommend this book to other people because it is a fantasy and it also talks about friendship. Thank you for listening. Hi, my name is Jeremy. I'm from Pleasanton. My favorite book is Fall of the Beasts, Spirit Animals, Book 1, Immortal Guardians. I like it because it has a lot of action and two sides to the story. And I would recommend it to someone else because it has a lot of magic. Thank you for listening. Hi, I'm going to be talking about my favorite book called The Miniature World of Marvin and James. James is a beetle and Marvin is a human. Marvin has to go on vacation for one week, and James is forced to spend time with his annoying cousin Elaine. So they go into so many adventures and lots of trouble. But the question is, will Marvin still be his friend after vacation? So why I like this book is that because you'll always wonder, what will happen next? What will happen next? So I hope you enjoyed this book as much as I did. Bye! Over the past week, we all became reminded of the power of poetry. One of our readers this week loved the poetry in his favorite book so much, he just had to share it. Hi, this is Leo Nguyen from Alice L. Elementary. I'll be reading a couple poems from Where the Sidewalk Ends by Shel Silverstein. Our first poem is going to be Recipe for a Hippopotamus Sandwich. A hippo sandwich is easy to make. All you do is simply take one slice of bread, one slice of cake, some mayonnaise, one onion ring, one hippopotamus, one piece of string, a dash of pepper that ought to do it, and now comes the problem, biting into it. Our next poem is going to be the truth about turtles. Turtles really have long legs, but they don't stretch them out until it's very late at night, and then they run about. Racing over hill and field until morning comes, and then they curl them back inside their shell and crawl around again. Hi, my name is Geetika, and I live in Pleasanton. My favorite book is Kitty's Magic Scooty the Birthday Cat. I like it because a girl can transform into a cat, and I would recommend it because I like cats and magic. Hi, my name is Adam. I live in Pleasanton. A book I recommend is The Wingfather Saga, North or Be Eaten. I don't have the complete set. The first one's really good, too, but one thing I'm not going to do is spoil the end for you. This book is a fantasy story, and I loved it because it had, it, it, you didn't take, the author didn't take a culture and then turn it into a story. He took something out of his imagination and did everything by himself and made everything up. And also, unlike some other books, he also included, like, pictures of what the creatures, the unique creatures in this story looked like so that you could actually visualize them. And that's pretty much all I have to say about The Wingfeather Saga by Andrew Peterson. He's an amazing author, even though I've only read two of his books. I can tell he is amazing, and I love this book. Bye. We'll have a list of everybody's favorite book at our website, bookclubforkids.org. 
Do you have a favorite book? Do you have a class of readers who would like to share their passion for a particular book? Well, we would love to get you on the show, just like these readers from Alisal Elementary. We can email easy instructions if you send us an email to kitty at bookclubforkids.org. But here are the basics. Have a reader record themselves on the voice memo app of the smartphone, telling us their first name, the city where they live, or the name of the school they go to, the name of their favorite book, and why they love it. And then email the voice memo to us at kitty at bookclubforkids.org. Or you can just have them call us and leave a message on our voicemail. That number is 323-639-3560. Again, that number, 323-639-3560. By the way, we have just added half a dozen new curriculum guides to the website, bookclubforkids.org. They're free, and we've made all of our curriculum guides easy to use. Just click, download, and print. And if you have been thinking about ways to build civics lessons into your ELA instruction, check out our other podcast, The Fina Mendoza Mysteries. It's based on the book, Welcome to Washington, Fina Mendoza. The podcast is free, and there's a teacher's guide for both the book and the podcast available at Amazon. Thanks to our readers this week from Ali Sal Elementary and to Mindy Louie for organizing our readers. We'll be back again next week with a brand new episode. I'm Kitty Feldy. Thanks so much for listening.